I've got David Catan with me. Hello, David. Hello, everybody. And we wanted to talk about the old four-point game plan. We've been trying to get around to this for a while. The four-point game plan to explode your business. and your income. Now before we get into it, I'm going to talk about why this is important. This is not something, this is how you run the team, this is like a team game plan, but it's also an individual game plan. So everybody is on the same track. Now when you get on and you run a program like this, it sends a message that we intend to grow. We're not just doing this thing to make money and to survive. We want to do big things. We want to go to the top. You know, we want to explode. We want amazing things to happen. We want to rewrite the record book. We want to get excited about it. We don't want to just learn something, do it, go through the moment. We want to get excited about it. So that's what the four-point game plan to explode your business, which is also, when you do that, you explode your income. But, the thing is that, uh, what are we talking about? Well, here is the problem. If you don't have a plan to explode your business, you're going to get caught in this humdrum approach that everybody gets in, and that is, this is the, uh, this is the number side of thing, and this is the timeline. And they get involved in the business, and they learn, and all of a sudden they get some business going, and they're excited, and then they get get overcome with paperwork and having to process it and then they get sidetracked and then they go down they want to turn it up again and now they go to a meeting and they read a book and they get a new fresh idea and now they're up here they're more better but now they get overwhelmed again they get sidetracked again and you see this up and down approach to people's business go on and on year I mean it could go for months it could go for years it could go for careers and people are in this endless cycle of mediocrity. And it's because they don't have a plan. When you don't have a plan, if you want to have a skyrocket growth, you've got to have a plan. You've got to have a thing that you can, you'll, you'll find if you look at the video we have on building. Growth comes in three ways. Something to get some new recruits added to your business get them trained, and then get them promoted. So you can start building the floor of your business and raising the ceiling. So you've got lots of uh, good videos on that. But so how do you get this game plan? How do you make this work? What is the game plan that powers all of these things? The influx of recruits first, the follow-up of premium, and the promotion of managers that raises your floor. How do you do that? Well, you got to have a game plan. And you got to have a game plan that says to everybody, no, no question, we plan to explode. We, can't, we plan to rewrite the record book, go to the top. We're not just going after a number. We're going to try and do things much bigger than we could do on our own. We want to go big time. We want to sat you know, saturate the market if we're able to do it. We want to build momentum. We want to get people talking about us. And we, we don't want to just get in and learn the business. We want to do something with what we learn. And I don't care what game plan you use. I never thought of a game plan until I heard this. But we got this back in the... 1980, this came, came out of Houston, Texas, and we copied it because I was ready to go. You know, I, I, I needed something to get started on, 
and this made sense to me. We copied it, and uh, I, this is, I've never seen anything better because it puts all this stuff together, and it gives you the first four steps. If you, you go in there, the first two steps are involved on getting people in. You get your people in, and then you get them moving in the right direction. You get them uh, productive. You get them producing. So they're not just involved. You, they're they're contributing to your team. So the, that's with a that's kind of like a introduction to what the four point game plan is all about. So we're going to cut this off now and shift over and to get into what these things are, how you introduce it, and David, do you have anything to add to give people an overview of what the four-point game plan is all about? Well, I love what you said about the, the track, you know, the two tracks, and keeping everybody on track so that we can be unified and moving forward. I, I love that analogy. I just thought that was great. Yeah, and this is the plan that the team uses, but this is the same plan that the individuals use. There's no different. And it's important when you get in to know this is not just something that's going to pay off for a team. This is going to pay off for you. Because what you want to do is you want to go from an individual to a team of your own as quickly as possible. You can't build a big team without developing lots of little teams inside of that. That's what a big team is, lots of little and uh, out of those lots of little teams, you have a few that develop into big ones. But you, th this whole idea is to take and to turn individuals into groups of individuals. I used to do this, David, explain that a recruit, a person by himself, a recruit is like a cell in the body. And a cell cannot reproduce. See, if, you're, if you have a team, in other words, you get the recruit and you get them some people on there and you get the recruit promoted into management and you have a group of maybe uh, five to seven people there, now you have a team. It's a baby team, but it's a team. And a team is like a, uh, oh, I wrote team again. Or, it's an uh, organism. A cell cannot reproduce. A cell is going to have a certain life, like what, 21 days to the average human cell, and it dies. And that's the thing, with, if you get a recruit, you could train and put all your energy into it, but if they happen to get depressed and quit for any reason, or for, you know, for, for one of a hundred million reasons, all your efforts, they're just one person who di kind of dies on the vine, like a cut flower, there's no roots. But when you take that person, you develop some people around them, and you get the, the core central person developed in the management, now you have a reproductive unit. you got an organism. So if any one person inside that team dies, or even the leader dies, they can reproduce and, and produce another one. And so now this thing is going to stay with you. You get stability here. You get permanence here. You can build your organization with teams could add people that are going to be in there, layers in there. But if it's an individual, you could have all this, they're individuals, and then boom, something bad happens, they all get the, the business flu, and you're back down here, only the lonely, starting over again. This time I'm going to do it the right way. But who wants to be starting over? This is all about never having to start over. Isn't that a great goal to have? Never have to start again. Never do it again. Do it the right way the first time. And doing it the right way is by building with turning people into not prima donna, highly trained individuals, but turning them into teams. That gives you your stability right there. Does that pretty much cover the intro there, David? That does. That covers it. Okay, let's get into uh, what this is all about.